I got four offers on my Toyota Tacoma recently. Well, I went out and looked, you know, where you go out to the web and you fill in all the information and you get an immediate offer for your Tacoma. And I was a little bit shocked uh, at one of them and one of them probably more realistic. But first, before we get into that, did you know how much batteries cost these days? I had to replace a battery in my wife's Jeep Wrangler and spent almost 300 bucks doing it. So I thought I'd take a quick look at the Tacoma battery because they always put the date on there and this one's a little difficult to see. I don't know if it'll come out on camera, but the date on this battery is January 2023. And I was told that batteries these days seem to be lasting somewhere around three years. So that means I've got, what, two years left before I get to go spend, maybe, another 300 bucks on a battery. Anyway, uh, I just thought it was pretty darn expensive. It's been quite a long time since I've replaced a battery in any vehicle. Probably because I trade them out so much, you know. But anyway, let's get to the topic. What is my Toyota Tacoma worth? According to those Carvana, True Car, Kelly Blue Book type sites on the web, and then one that I think is really probably the best estimate, and that's from CarMax. So we're going to run through. First of all, uh, I went to uh, True Car, plugged in all the information, and they quoted me a price. Again, I know this is on the web, right? Uh, you get what you can get is what it's really worth. But $30,242. You guys can see. Let's see. Let me make sure I can show you the... Yeah. You guys can see right there. Uh, not very good. That's uh, about $8,000 or so less than I paid for the truck. And you know, everybody's saying today, now that the third generation is the old generation and the best generation, they're going to be worth a lot of money. Well, not if you look at True Car, they're not. Let's go to the next one. This is Carvana. You know, the place that will come to your house and pick up your vehicle and hand you a check, all that stuff. By the way, make sure you check if you're thinking about doing something like that, because for me, I would have to drive 75 miles to meet a Carvana truck somewhere, and then 75 miles back home. So that means I have to have somebody come with me, right? Uh, because that's the closest they'll come for where I live. So anyway, Carvana, they gave me a price of $35,000 even on my 2023 Tacoma. This is a TRD off-road, by the way. It's a four x four automatic. Here's the price, you guys can see it, $35,000 from Carvana. Not the best, but definitely better than the True Car site listed, right? We're going to save, I've got CarMax next, but we're going to save that till last. Kelly Blue Book. This gave me the biggest price, and I like Kelly because they give you a range, right? Now, one thing I want to point out, on Kelly Blue Book's site, they pointed out that I have two recalls found. So I thought, what? I don't have any recalls on my truck. So I, I looked a little further. I went out to one of those recall sites. I put in my VIN number, and it came out that... What they were saying was the recall was for a driver's airbag, like the steering wheel airbag, and a child anchor recall. Um, when I checked my particular VIN number online, uh, they do not apply. I do not have any recalls. So maybe they give you that, I don't know, as a reason to give you a different price. But if they did, they were the highest. So the range that Kelly gives me is 38,158 up to as high as 41,425, which by the way, would be more than I paid for the vehicle. So I'm digging that. If I was in the market to sell, that'd be fantastic, right? The true trade-in value, they kind of give you an average in the middle number, $39,792. That's only a, a hair under $200 less than I paid for the truck. Maybe about, man, maybe about 500 bucks. Uh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. You guys can see right here is where they show the ranges. Get my finger out of the way. Uh, so not too bad. If I was looking to sell, I guess I would uh, explore maybe the Kelly Blue Book buyers uh, a little bit more closely. Now, the last one that I mentioned is CarMax. 
Now, I save CarMax till the end because I have found that CarMax values cars online at the price they're going to give you. I mean, unless you take your, your truck in there and it's got all kinds of things wrong with it, you have to be honest uh, when you're doing these things, right? So anyway, they gave me a price of $37,000 flat, $37,000 even. You guys can see it right there. So, realistically, I think that $37,000 is probably something I could get with the least amount of effort on my part. Obviously, if you list it privately, you might be able to get a little bit more, but then you got to screw around with having people drive your truck, ride with them, dealing with people that may not be really very interested. You know, I'll tell you a quick story. I know someone who is, was trying to sell an old Corvette. And they listed it on eBay and somebody local saw it and said they were interested, wanted to come over and see it, drove it, and then in the end said that they would have to check and see if they could get financing for it. Now, this was a 60 some thousand dollar plus car, right? So my first thought is, is why do you show up at somebody's house if you don't have the cash for it? I mean, you don't look at financing for a 1960-some Corvette, right? I mean, what's the bank going to give you? You have to have collateral and stuff. This guy did not. I think all he was doing was really coming to look at the car. He saw it in the area, likes Corvettes, and wanted to be able to come and drive it and tell his buddies that he got to drive a 1960-some Corvette. I don't think he ever had any possibility of buying that car. And that's something that you run into when you deal privately or in the used market, right? Not something that I really want to screw with. And honestly, it's been years and years since I sold a car privately. And the cars that I did, they were really junkers. I mean, less than, I think, $1,000. So it's just not something that I screw with. So anyway, is the Tacoma commanding a uh, huge price right now, the third gen? because it's so much better than the fourth generation, many would have you believe, because of the V6, the non-turbo, all that stuff. I'm not seeing it. I mean, if that were true, I think I would probably see, I don't know, $45,000, something like that, maybe a little bit more in line with the lowest, or at least getting to the lowest cost of the new Tacoma. Plus, if I was to sell my truck, let's say I did this, I sell it to CarMax today, 37000 Now, I'm going to go buy a new TRD off-road. I just saw somebody post up a, a sticker on one, $53,000. So I'm going to have to pony up sixteen, more like $18,000 or so, once you figure in other costs, tax, and all that stuff. $18,000 to buy the brand new Tacoma, the 2024 for what? I'm not interested in doing it. But it was interesting to me to see what some of the online dealers and, and CarMax, of course, are willing to give for the Toyota Tacoma. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Would you let it go for $37,000? Run out and I guess put a deposit down on the 2024 because good luck in finding one. I'd be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.